Yeah, a bit of an angry rant today, folks, but I don't know. What can I say? And actually, why I'm angry, why I'm in this mood is my friend, Rachel Reinstra, has been badly bashed. Rachel is a beautiful woman. She was a Hollywood presenter. She had a, she had a show called Wildlife Docs. And no, she's not Illuminati, folks. Just because she worked in Hollywood doesn't mean she's part of some secret cabal and she's a pedophile. You know, the secret cabals and pedophiles that operate within Hollywood couldn't operate if everybody in Hollywood was in their club. They wouldn't have anywhere to hide, you know. Rachel actually went around the world with a video camera and filmed animals, and, and she loves animals. She's just a really, really sweet woman. She filmed animals and she pitched it as a show and she ended up getting a, a show on some small network or whatever in Hollywood and that lasted a couple of seasons and then wasn't renewed but she ended up getting picked up by SeaWorld because she was a pretty face and so she ran a show called Wildlife Docs for two or three years and um, was basically an infomercial for SeaWorld, you know. And um, of course she's been vilified she, and then while she was working in that cesspool she kind of woke up and started speaking the truth so of course she lost her Hollywood career and of course when she started speaking the truth she got interviewed by people like freaking bitchy from bloated and as he does he, he started defaming her as soon as he'd had her on the show so now people think she's this Hollywood pedophile Illuminati stooge whatever she isn't she's a really sweet person you know, bitchy does this bitchy gets people on his show and I don't normally talk about people I've never actually mentioned bitchy from Boston on the show before but he seems to get people onto his show just so he can defame them later, run smear campaigns on them. He's done it with every single person he's interviewed. He's run a smear campaign on them after he's interviewed them. And he did that with Rachel, so she gets a lot of uh, flack now. She's actually a good woman. But she was beaten up. This guy broke her nose. Uh, she's very likely going to be permanently blind in one eye now. And the guy who did it is a guy who runs a truth podcast called Awakened Brave. His name is Aaron Berry. These photos were from a little while ago, but he's a, he's a British guy. And apparently they were driving down the highway. She made some quip that he obviously didn't like, and so he just started bashing her in the car while she was driving. She was driving, he started bashing her, smashed her head into the windscreen, smashed her head into the dashboard, broken nose, uh, did a lot of damage to her, rain blows on her, she's lucky to be alive. She went to the hospital, spent the night in hospital, went to the police and filled out a report. The police said they were going to hold the guy until his trial, but they let him out after 48 hours, so he's loose running around somewhere between Sedona and Prescott in Arizona at the moment. And apparently he wants to go back to Rachel's place to collect his stuff. And when she filled out the report, I mean, this is a report, an assault report from a victim. When she pulled out the report, she's obviously in a pretty bad state, beaten up. They only charged him with a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor when really it's a felony. He's done grievous bodily harm. He's, he's very likely blinded her. He's broken her nose and very likely blinded her in one eye. And they didn't get her to sign the report. Instead, they signed it themselves. And what did they sign it with, folks? They signed the damage report, the charge report, the victim report with COVID. What the fuck is that? COVID. This is Sedona Police Department. Why did you sign the charge sheet with the word COVID? What's going on here? You know, are the police actually doing their job or should we come over and do their job for them? Because they don't appear to be doing it anymore. I mean, are you people even fucking sane? This is the state of the world, folks. Yeah, so I'm a little agitated this morning because I don't like seeing this happen to Rachel.